Today we're going to show you how to make a wet mount slide of squamous epithelium from a cheek scraper. These are the materials that you will need. They are methylene blue for stain, physical saline, flat toothpicks, a new clean slide, and a cover slip. First we have to collect a sample of the squamous epithelium tissue and this student is gently opening his cheek and he's going to scrape the inside of his cheek to get some squamous epithelial cells on the end of the toothpick. You're going to place the sample by scraping it gently onto the slide. He'll now put a very, very small drop of saline solution on the tissue sample, like this, just a tiny amount. Then he'll put a small drop of methylene blue on the tissue sample. And so you can see a little bit of stain on top of the saline. Now he's going to set one edge of the cover slip over the fluid and slide it towards the fluid very slowly, like this, until it reaches the fluid and it will spread across the bottom of the cover slip like this. Once it contacts the fluid, you can just drop the cover slip. You're now ready to put the wet mount slide under the microscope. And you can see there's a very thin layer of blue fluid under the cover slip, which will give you a good tissue sample. Common mistakes in making these wet mounts is putting just too much saline solution and methylene blue on the tissue sample. This would be an example of way too much saline solution and methylene blue and it would cause literally this cover slip to be floating around so that you won't be able to get a good sample and get a good look at this tissue. Now we're going to look at these squamous epithelium cells from the cheek smear at the 4x objective, 10x, and 40x. The purpose of this is to help you find these cells. A lot of beginners have trouble finding these cheek cells or these epithelium cells at the 4x objective, so I want to show you how to do that. Now here is using the 4X objective, we're gonna find little blue dots. Now we're lucky here, I found some congregations of these epithelial cells, but a lot of times you will just see a series of little small blue dots. That's your epithelial cells. So now you're gonna to have to get some of these into the center of your viewing field and use the 10X objective. At this objective, we can see these cells pretty clearly but we're gonna go a little higher to the 40X objective, and now we can see our nucleus and our individual irregularly shaped squamous epithelial cells. Now these epithelial cells are actually coming from your cheek, so it's stratified squamous epithelial. That should help you succeed in making a good wet mount, and have fun.